today we are going to do a mountain meditation and typically we do mountain meditation sitting so hopefully a sitting posture works for everybody today if not uh, lying down would be fine but um, if you can sit that is recommended so um, so we're gonna start now so finding um, a position that is working for you, right? Either on the floor, on a chair, on a cushion, and really sensing into the support, the, um, the support that you're receiving, right? Actual sensations of contact. And if you're just joining, I'm glad you're here. We're starting a mountain meditation and we're starting just by sensing in to the support that you're feeling beneath you. Finding a position of stability and poise, your upper body balanced over your hips and shoulders in a comfortable but alert posture, hands on your lap or your knees, arms hanging by their own weight, heavy, stable, and relaxed. Actually sensing your body, feeling your feet, the legs, the hips, the lower and upper body, the arms, shoulders, neck, and head. Really being in your body, feeling your body sitting here. And if your eyes are open, allowing them to gently close, bringing your awareness to the breath, the actual physical sensations of breathing, feeling each breath as it comes in and goes out, letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change or control it in any way allowing it to flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm, one breath following the next, knowing your breath is perfect just as it is. Nothing to change, nothing to do. Feeling your own stillness with a sense of dignity and resolve, a sense of being complete and whole, just as you are in this very moment. Your posture reflecting this sense of wholeness. And as you sit here, letting an image form in your mind's eye of a magnificent mountain, letting it gradually come into focus, becoming clearer and clearer with each breath. And if nothing's appearing, simply allowing a sense of the mountain, feeling its shape, its lofty peaks, reaching high into the sky, its steep or gently sloping sides, its broad, stable base rooted in the earth. Noticing how massive and solid it is, unmoving, steadfast, resilient. Observing the mountain, noting its qualities, And now seeing if you can bring those qualities into your own body. Sitting here as if you and the mountain are one. Massive, solid, unflinching, still, majestic.
Grounding in the sitting posture, your head becomes the lofty peaks. Supported by the rest of you, your hips and legs, the solid base. They're rooted to the cushion or your chair. Experiencing in your body a sense of uplift from deep within the base of your spine. With each breath as you continue sitting, becoming a little more a breathing mountain, alive and vital, yet unwavering in your inner stillness, completely what you are beyond words and thought, a centered, grounded, unmoving presence. And as you sit here, becoming aware of the sun traveling across the sky, creating light and shadows and a brilliant array of colors on the surface of the mountain, shifting and changing moment by moment. Completely still, the mountain just is. Its surface reflecting the constant evolution, unmoved by the shifting presence of light or darkness, or the teeming of life and activity that abounds from streams, melting snow, waterfalls, plants, and wildlife. As the mountain sits, seeing and feeling how night follows day and day follows night. The bright warming sun following the cool star-studded night sky, followed by the gradual dawning of a new day. Through the constant cycles of light and dark, day and night, beginnings and endings, the mountain sits, moment to moment, calmness abiding all change. The mountain remains still as the seasons flow one into another, as the weather changes moment by moment, day by day. In the spring, there may be fields of wildflowers and snow on the peaks at the very top. In the summer, the facade may be dry even parched by the scorching sun beating down during the long, hot days. In the fall, the mountain may wear a brilliant coat of autumn colors before the leaves begin to drop away. And in the winter, a blanket of ice and snow may cover its face and the branches of its bare trees. In all the seasons, the mountain may find itself enshrouded in clouds or fog or pelted by fierce storms. Visitors may come and go taking photographs or climbing its lofty peaks. None of this matters to the mountain, which remains at all times its essential self. Clouds coming and going Tourists glad or sad, having opinions and judgments about the forecast and fast moving weather patterns. The mountain's magnificence and beauty not change one bit by whether people see it or not, whether it sits in the sun or the clouds, whether the temperature is hot or cold, 
or if it is daytime or nighttime. The mountain sits, being itself. At times pummeled by violent storm, rain, sleet or hail. Through it all, the mountain just sits. And after every winter, there is a spring. Trees sprout leaves, flowers bloom in the meadows and the slopes. Birds sing once again. Streams overflow with the waters of the melting snow. And through it all, the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what happens on its surface, by the world of appearances, remaining its true self through each season as it comes and as it goes, the activity ebbing and flowing on its surface. In the same way as we sit in meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain, embodying the central unwavering stillness and groundedness in the face of the changes in our own lives, remaining steady, centered and still as the happenings around us may be uncertain, chaotic, and even perceived as threatening. In our lives and in our meditation practice, we experience the constant changing nature of mind and body states, as well as the outer world. We have our own periods of lightness and darkness, activity and inactivity, color and dullness. We experience our own storms of varying intensity and violence, buffeted by fear, restlessness, and anxiety. We endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as moments of joy, connection, and uplift. Even our appearance changes constantly, experiencing a weather and season of its own. By becoming the mountain in our meditation practice, we embody its strength and stability, using its energies to encounter each moment with mindfulness, equanimity, and clarity. It may help us to see that our thoughts and feelings, preoccupations, emotional storms, and crises are akin to the weather on the mountain. Unlike the mountain, we tend to take it all personally. Perhaps we've been taught this by our culture, our family and friends is a normal and expected reaction. The weather in our own lives is not to be ignored or denied, but if we choose to respond rather than react, it can simply be encountered, honored, felt, and held gently in our awareness.
Holding it in this way, we come to know a deeper silence, stillness, and wisdom. Becoming a refuge for ourselves and others. I would like to share a poem entitled The Mountain in Me by Li Po. The birds have vanished down the sky. Now the last cloud drains away. We sit together, the mountain and me, until only the mountain remains. And as you prepare to receive the sound of the bell, knowing you always can find the resolve, wakefulness, and true stillness of the mountain within you anytime, anywhere. <laughs>